Hi, welcome back to another video for Music Marketing. Don Garbutt here. Today I'd like to show you a very interesting way to use Melodyne and Morph together. What I'd like to show you is how to use Melodyne to extract a MIDI file from an audio track. The first thing I've done is loaded up some Apple loops onto an audio strip. This will work as our vocal track. Here you can see the Apple loops on the Logic track. I've loaded an instance of Melodyne. There are plenty of tutorials out there about Melodyne, so I'm not going to go into all the details here. I pressed play on Logic, hit the transfer button, and recorded the audio track into Melodyne. You can see the Melodyne display here. I wasn't totally satisfied with the tuning on the actual performance, so what I did was go into Melodyne and clean up a little bit of the tuning on some syllables. If you go to Settings and Save as MIDI, it'll ask you where you want to save your file, and it'll ask you if you want the cycle-only area. That means if you've highlighted with the cycle area here a particular chunk of the audio, that's the audio that will be turned into a MIDI file. Otherwise, it would take the whole track. So if you just want a subsection of your track, just highlight here in the cycle area. When you save as a MIDI file, you now have a MIDI version of this audio performance. Find the MIDI file and drag it out onto a blank area of logic, thus creating a new instrument track, or drag it onto an existing instrument track that you already have on your list. I've already got the audio file turned into MIDI set up on a violin sound here. So first we'll hear the vocal track that I fed into Melodyne with a few pitch corrections. And so on. Now I'm going to add the violin playing along. What's really cool about this approach is that the timing of the violin notes exactly matches the phrasing on the vocal track. You may want to go in and actually adjust some of the durations because to me it sounds like some of these violin notes are holding a bit long. In fact, it actually picked up a little bit of a ghost note that was determined by the vocal chunk in Melodyne. So I'll just eliminate that. So now you can see how to take a Melodyne track and turn it into a MIDI file. This works perfectly well for polyphonic stuff as well. Now here comes the killer. I'm now going to show you how using Morph by ProSonic can enable us to morph the voice and the violin sound together. To do that, send the output of your audio track to a bus. Make sure the bus output is set to no output. Now, on the violin track, we'll load up a Morph plugin. First, I'm just going to audition the individual sounds here. There's your violin. There's the vocal track. And here's the morphed combination. So you hear that varying degrees of this position enable you to hear more or less of sound B or A, but it's not just an audio mixer. What you're hearing is B being gradually transformed into A. Let's listen to that again. The other side of the morph display here allows you to transform in a different manner. This transformation here is gradually transforming A into B as I move vertically. On this side, it's going to gradually transform B into A, and we get a wholly different kind of product here. <laughs> Down, down, down. 
Interesting results on this side. Sounds a lot different transforming B into A than it does transforming A into B, as we did earlier. You can also reach a blend in between. So you could think of this lower horizontal line as being a mixer. So you'll hear that I can simply mix the levels of A and B. Bizarre. Over here you've got a reverb generator, which is kind of nice to add a little reverb to the process. Here you've got your wet-dry balance, and I've added in just a dash of reverb in a medium-sized room. Well, that's what I wanted to show you today, the combination of deriving a MIDI track from Melodyne and then feeding the MIDI-driven sound and the vocal track into Morph and morphing in between. This control is automatable, and it's a very interesting way to merge sounds together. On the next video, I'm going to show you how to get some outrageous drum sounds using the Morph plugin. Thanks for watching.